फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू एनालाइज योर नॉलेज ऑन ईच सेक्शन कि इफ यू हैव अनलिमिटेड टाइम हाउ मच आर एबल टू स्कोर सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स ए वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ ट्वेंटी सिक्स क्वेश्चन सेक्शन टेस्ट ऑन क्वांट्स और अ ट्वेंटी सिक्स क्वेश्चन सेक्शन टेस्ट ऑन वर्बल which means 78 marks which is the current 2 uh, hr pattern which is what we are expecting this year if you talk about a 50 marks per hr scoring rate you basically need around 35 marks there in 40 minutes and one factor also when you talk about scoring rates di scoring rate will typically be slightly lower in quants as well as verbal you should endeavor to be at around 1 mark per minute uh, score wise plus 3 minus 1 scoring pattern mein you should be endeavor to be at 1 mark per minute Uh, so if you can score 40 or you can go above 40 and you can score 1.3 1.4 marks per minute if that section is strong for you so you would be good so then you have to first analyze do you have the knowledge to get there if there is no time limit or a 78 marks can you score 60 65 if your knowledge score is 65 or a 78 then in a 40 minute framework with time constraints etc you cannot be expected to score more than 40 45 marks so if you want to raise your marks to 50 you have to be able to uh, score at least 65 marks so what i'm trying to say is that in quants If your knowledge score is 50, that given unlimited time, you can only solve 17 questions correct there in a, in a 26 question paper. Then there's no way you can score more than 35 in the 40 minute uh, section. So for every test that you take, you need to know that okay, if I don't have any time limit, how much can I score? What is my ability currently? And then once you understand that you can have various patterns, so you need to analyze your patterns also in your preparation. So let's say you have a pattern and you do the same thing in DILR etc. as well as in verbal so if you have a pattern that your knowledge score is 65 and your actual performance score which is your 40 minute performance score is in the range of 35 then this is a poor uh, cashing in of your uh, knowledge you should be able to convert around 70 to 80% of what you know inside a 40 minute uh, time frame so this gives me scope that if i improve my speed i improve my decision making i improve my mental stability inside the exam i will be able to score to 45 50 but at the same time if your knowledge score is 50 and you are scoring 35 that means that you are almost converting 70 75% of what you know which is a pretty good conversion agar do logos 35 aa raha hai section test mein in, in the quant section or the verbal section and one of them has a knowledge score of 50 and the other has 65 this guy if he wants to improve his score has to improve his knowledge score so the next part of his work will get defined through that and this guy if he has to improve his uh, score the 65 35 guy he has to improve his conversion so these things you will come to know you will also start to get to know which question types your heartbeat starts stabilizing which question types do your heartbeat go up uh, which are the question types which you are scared of etc and then from there you take the feedback about what work you need to do in your uh, groundwork or in your basic work that you do along with your test